I'm going to give you the exact four step process that I use to rank a video for pretty much virtually any keyword that you want, no matter the competition. So who else wants the tools, tactics, and strategies to rank for any keyword? All right. Cool, cool. So here's my case study for YouTube. And this is the first 200 pounds going out to one of you guys. So take notes, write down the four steps, do it tonight, and if you show me your ranking on the first page of YouTube while we're still here, 200 is yours. Step one, keyword research. So people go on search engines for one reason. They want a question answered. The benefit to us as marketers is we already know what they want and they need because they're typing in a specific query. They're typing in a keyword which they want a solution for their problem. So as a marketer, you could take that keyword and monetize it by giving them the answer to their problem. Now, there's many different ways that you could do this. I'm about to show you a case study of how I ranked for Shopify. Who here knows what Shopify is? Cool. Well, if you don't know, Shopify is an e-commerce platform. It has a monthly fee. And as an affiliate, when you refer someone to Shopify, you make commissions every single month. So this is the Google Keyword Planner. If you type in Google, Google Keyword Planner, log into your Google account, you can search any keyword, you can get a list of related keywords, you can see their search volume, and the coolest thing is you could actually see here, the suggested bid right here, $3.42. You can see Shopify gets a million hits every month, and advertisers are paying $3.42 for those clicks. Each click, $3.42. But you could tap into that traffic for free. And that's what I'm about to show you. Step number two, after you've done your keyword research, you've found a profitable keyword that you know if you rank for, you can make money. Step two is to create the video. Now, the biggest objection that I hear when it comes to creating videos is you don't want to get on camera and that's perfectly fine. I didn't want to get on camera. My first videos were absolutely terrible. I would take um, a screencast, a video of my screen and speak into the microphone so that nobody would see my face. But since then, I've become more comfortable with it. It gets easier and easier. Anything worth doing is hard before it becomes easy. So you have to overcome this. And you can also use softwares like Easy Sketch Pro or Video Maker FX and make simple videos and do a voice overlay and that eliminates any need to get on camera. So the second step is to create your video. The formula for video creation is G plus R plus I plus I equals money. So I'm going to give you guys each of these four steps. This is the content of your video. When you're shooting your video, this is the, the message that you want to convey to your audience. The first G is grab. You want to grab your user. This is where you pattern interrupt and you state the keyword that they're searching. So you are ranking for a specific keyword, and the keyword, the content of that keyword is why they're watching your video. So you want to interrupt their pattern, which means when somebody is browsing online, they're in a pattern of thought. And you want to immediately interrupt that pattern and pull them into your content. And then you want to state the keyword. So if your keyword is Shopify, you could say something like, Chances are you're here because you want to learn about Shopify. That's why they're here. So you pull them into the video. This, the, 
G plus R. The R is relate. This is where you want to tell a story that is relatable to their situation. So you want to relate to them. Tell them a relatable story that makes them like you and shows them that you're authentic and that you are just like them. Now why do you want to tell a story? Here's why. Stories since we're kids, we've been sitting on our grandparents' knee and listening to stories. So when someone tells you a story, you are predisposed and conditioned, years and years of conditioning, to listen to that story. The first I, intrigue. So grab, relate, intrigue. This is where you want to provide some type of mystery and intrigue them into the solution that you're about to offer them. You want to build up their intrigue in your product, in your solution, in your service. And we do this by, you guessed it, telling a story. So if I was going, staying with the Shopify example, in the Shopify video, I basically tell them, I was just like you. I used to be trying to figure this whole online marketing thing out. I bought every single warrior form special offer that was available. And nothing worked. But then I found something. I found a resource, or I found a course, or I figured out the process to succeeding with Shopify. And then the last part of the formula is invite. Uh, in this section, the biggest mistake I see is don't be too pushy. You don't want to be like, go click my link below, get my stuff. Just invite them, a friendly invitation. You want to give them power of choice. Put the choice in their hands. This is push versus pull marketing. You don't want to you don't want to force them to do something because that's pushy, that's salesy. Just give them the choice and when they create an internal decision to choose your solution, that is much more powerful than if you create that choice for them. So you could say something like, if you want to check it out, I left the link in the description for you. You might find it helpful. All you got to do is click below. Simple as that. So that's the four-step formula to create your videos. Step number two is create videos. Step number three, now we get into the nitty-gritty of the optimization. So in step one, when you chose your keywords, you want to find four to five keywords, one base keyword and three to four other keywords that are related to your main keyword that you want to rank for. So now we have to show YouTube and we have to show Google that our video is in fact relevant for that keyword. And not only is it relevant, but it creates value for the users who are watching your video. That's all Google wants. All they want is for their users to have a good experience. So if you create a good experience for their users, they in turn will show the love and reciprocate back to you in the form of traffic. So we have file first. This is one thing that nobody really talks about but gives you a massive edge over the competition. When you export your video, you want to take your file name and you want to put it in this form. So your first, your main keyword is keyword dash one. So let's say your keyword is how to sell. So it would be how dash to dash sell. And then you put an underscore. And then you put keyword two. This is in your file name, the actual video file. Before you upload it, you want to make your file name, you want to put your keywords in there. Easy enough. Next is your headline, uh, sorry, your title. In the title, 
The first thing you want to have is your main keyword. You don't want to stuff keywords in your title. So just have one keyword in there and then you could put a dash or a space or dot 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 and then put a little bit of a headline. Something that intrigues the users who are looking through the search engine to click on your video and not to choose somebody else's but instead to choose yours and come into your sphere of influence. So keyword and then a short headline. Next is the description. The description is something where a lot of people they go wrong because they put in their keyword 40 times in one description. But Google looks at the description as another point where you can add value to their users. So all you want to do, the easiest, simplest way that I would suggest doing this is put in your keyword three, max four times in your description. The first line of your description should be either your keyword or a call to action and then the link to your website, whether it's your product or your service or an affiliate product or an affiliate service, put in your link. And then you want to transcribe your video, which means take the text version of what you said in the video and add that in your description, just like that. Just have it transcribed. You can go on fiverr.com. For $5, you can get any video transcribed. They'll give you the text, copy, paste in your description. Then, what we're going to do at the bottom of your description, nobody scrolls down to the bottom of the description. So here is where we're going to do a couple, we have a couple tactics that'll help you rank and show Google that you're relevant. This won't diminish the user experience. This won't let people click off to other websites because nobody's down there. They're at the top watching your video and they're seeing your money site. But you want to link into your same video. Now when you publish a video, YouTube gives you a shortened link to your video. You want to take that link to the same video and put it in the description. So you're linking to the exact same page in your description. The next thing you want to do is search your main keyword on YouTube and find the top ranked video. Not the ads, but the top organically ranked video. And take the link to that video and put it right under the link to your video. So you might be thinking, I'm going to lose all this traffic to the top video and then they're going to go into their funnel. But in reality, like I said, people are not going to the bottom of the description. So you're not really losing any traffic. You're just showing Google that your video is authoritative just like the one that's already ranking. It positions your video with the other top ranking video on Google. And then the last thing you could do is you could add in a couple of your social media properties. If you want to add in your Facebook page or your Twitter page or your YouTube uh, channel, that's something that I would suggest doing as well because those are authoritative links and it will show Google that again, your video is authoritative for your keyword. Then we got the tags. The tags, very easy, just take five to seven keywords, take your main keywords that you did in the keyword research, plug them in in order of importance. So put your, your main keyword first and so on down the chain to five to seven max. No more than seven keywords in there. We don't want to confuse Google and try and rank for 10, 12, 15 different terms because then you end up ranking for none of them and you wasted your time. You want to keep it very specific. 